Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a really, really fast one. I'm going to just try and power through this as quickly as possible. Uh, new location! We have moved from the living room into the bedroom, so we are getting intimate with this one. I have a new shelf. It's big, it's black, I hope you like it. <laughs> it's going to hold my Nintendo DS games. I have white space here, which I don't really like. Probably going to throw like a poster or something on there. Figure out how to get this thing to stay. It shall go there. But we will figure all that out later. I'm playing some music. Hopefully it is not super loud, but hopefully it's just something nice in the background. Um, it is from Child of Light. It is Aurora's theme. We just have like relaxing video game music set on, so it'll be something good to play while we're in here. So, we have a lot of stuff to show. I might as well show all of the non-DS and 3DS stuff first, just so I can get that out of the way. Some of this stuff probably should have been in regular pickup videos and not in this great big mega haul video, but that's okay because you just need to film this and get it out there, because a lot of this stuff has been here for like a month. I've just been waiting to make a video on it. Most of this stuff bought off of the Computer Exchange website. I don't remember some of the prices, unfortunately. If the price is on there, I'll remember it. If I just remember it off the top of my head, that's good too, but uh, no promises. First up, the only PlayStation Vita game, probably one of the only ones I've bought this year, uh, Galgun Double Piece. Um, I don't think you can find this as an Australian copy. I think it was banned or something. Or... It wasn't banned. You had to get a pre-order of it, otherwise you were never going to get it because they banned it afterwards. So it was weird. It is a kind of porn game, I guess. My fiancé is actually... Ah. My fiancé has actually played this game. She says it is stupid and a little bit fun. And I had spare computer exchange money, and I'm always looking for more PlayStation Vita games, so I thought, yeah, I'll grab it. Maybe not one I'll ever play, but I had like, I had like $500 worth of computer exchange credit just to blow through, so I was like, yeah, whatever, that's cheap. Cheap to me. Another one that I wanted, this is the PlayStation 3 game for my collection, the Classics HD Hitman Trilogy. This is pretty good, it has Hitman 2, Blood Money, and Contracts. Not the first one though, but I think you can get the first one on the PlayStation 2, so... It's weird how some of them don't have that, like... The Silent Hill HD Collection doesn't have the first game on it. It's possible that the, um... Like, the source code for it was lost, I'm not sure. Yeah, that was like $15 ships, so that's pretty good. It's a, um... It's a region. Three? Yeah, three, so that's Chinese. That's okay, it still plays in English. A Nintendo Wii game. Uh, nobody suggested I should buy this game, but I saw it on the Computer Exchange website and thought, this looks really interesting. It is Lost in Blue Shipwrecked. This looks like a fun game. I love games where you're like on a deserted island having to survive, like the forest and that, so I thought this would be fun. It says it's two player, so enjoy playing with the missus as well. And finally, also off the Computer Exchange website, I did, I was wishing this one would come complete, but that's okay. Ape Escape 2. I've been wanting this one for a long time. 15 is pretty good. Paying of credit makes it even better. No manual, unfortunately, and I think the disc... Nah, the disc is good. That is not very loud at all. Hopefully you can hear that. Yeah, Ape Escape, I finished Ape Escape 3 not too long ago, like within the last six months, so I did want to buy this one and give it a go as well. It's, they're just really fun games, I have no idea why they stopped making these. And the rest of this is 3DS and DS games, so I'll just start powering through. The vast, vast majority of these are all from Computer Exchange, so I don't remember the prices, but they were all bought with credit. So, very little 
money out of pocket spent. This is a self-funding collection after all. I mean, if you want to see it as all these games are free, you kind of could, but at the same time I did have to buy stuff to trade in. But I did also sell stuff to get that money back that I spent to buy stuff to trade in. I don't know. Dragon Quest Monsters Joker. I think it was like 25 bucks. I did have this before, but when I stupidly sold all of my DS games, I got rid of this one. It's a good one to get back. It's a pretty fun game. It's um, it's a little bit like what was it? I think it's more like Pokemon than Dragon Quest, but we shall see. Uh, Dragon Quest Chapters of the Chosen. Not played this one at all, so I have no idea how it is. I'm sure it's an RPG of some sort. It's in there complete. I want to get all of these like good titles for the DS. Because a lot of them are going up in value right now. I want to get them before they become stupid expensive. Uh, Pokemon Platinum, I had to bite the bullet on this one. This was like $90 in credit. Which is just crazy for this. I have no idea why it's so expensive. But, I have it now. Complete. It's a nice, clean, official copy. No fakes here. I made sure to check. Also, Dragon Quest... 6. Well, Realms of Reverie. This would have been a port of the Super Nintendo game, right? Because Dragon Quest V was on the Super Nintendo, I imagine 6 would have been as well. Yeah, it looks like it's just straight Super Nintendo port, maybe? I'm not sure. But also complete, great condition. And a 3DS game. Kid Icarus Uprising. I've heard mixed things about this, but this was like 20... It was less than $30 shipped. With the, uh, like, special edition that comes with, like, a stand. You, uh, put your 3DS in there and it just sits up. It's supposed to make the game easier to play. Yeah, that's there. I have heard mixed things, but it's supposed to be a fun game. I think... Fluffy Gamer once found a copy of this in an op shop for like just a couple of bucks, which is pretty cool. I am unfortunately past the point where I think I can find a lot of this stuff in op shops. That's what I was thinking with like DS and stuff. I was always thinking like DS 3DS games sold well, I'll just wait until I find them in op shops. They'll be like Wii games, I'll find them everywhere. I never find good DS and 3DS games out in the wild. I don't know if other people have this issue, but I do. Check if we're still filming. Yep. The front camera was really bad because of the lighting, so I had to use the other camera on this phone. Big stack. I'll show this stuff first, because this was actually a purchase from a fellow YouTuber. I bought this stack off of him and had two other games in it, but I sold them off. This was $300 total, so about $15 a game after everything was said and done. And for some of these, uh, good price, others really good price, but he did give me a hookup. It was from Andrew Bellina, I will link his channel in the description. We have Mario and Luigi Paper Jam Bros. This looks like an interesting game. I'm not actually sure what kind of game this is, because I know the Mario and Luigi games are usually RPGs, but some of the Paper Mario games have changed to, like, platformers, so we'll see how that is. Paper Mario Sticker Star, I remember when this came out, people did not like it. They were very, very excited. First Paper Mario's, first real Paper Mario since the GameCube, so... Yeah, they were very excited, they did not like this game. Complete! All of these are complete. There was an issue where some of the games didn't have the actual games in them, but he did rectify that, so I can't complain. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions, which is pretty cool. Play as a Goomba. That sounds fun. 
a little bit like that um that version of Metal Slug on the PlayStation 2 where you can play as one of the enemies for once. I love where you can do that in games, even if it's just like a little bonus feature. This was a cool one to get, really wanted to get this one. Metroid Samus Returns. I wanted to pre-order this when it was coming out, but I just I just didn't want to spend the money on it. I'm glad I didn't because I got a really good deal on it, like 15, 16 bucks for this. Really good deal, this is all shipped. If anybody doesn't know the story about this, this was a fan game that the, um... This was a fan game that Nintendo actually bought and remade themselves, which is pretty cool. Definitely what I wanted. Another one I wanted, Resident Evil Revelations. There's a lot of horror games I want on the DS, like uh, Dementium and Resident Evil Deadly Silence, so... One I definitely wanted to grab. It's supposed to be a really, really good game. I have it on PlayStation 3, so it's good to get it on 3DS as well. I think it was originally on 3DS, but then they ported it over to the PlayStation 3. Uh, Angry Birds Star Wars, I'll keep it. It's fun. Uh, Ultimate NES Remix. I'd love to get this on the um, Wii U as well, but it's a little bit harder to find. This is cool because you can play the uh, Japanese versions of the games on this as well, which is pretty cool because I think Legend of Zelda has some differences in the Japanese version. Just a cool little bonus feature. Uh, Puzzles and Dragons. And Puzzle Dragon Super Mario Bros. Edition. Uh, just a puzzle game, it's like one of those tile sliding puzzle games. It's okay. Professor Layton and the Arzan Legacy. I need to sit down and play some of these more recent Professor Layton games. I've finished the first three on the DS, I just need to finish the rest. They're really good puzzle games. There they are. Combined visual novel features as well, which is pretty cool. Yoshi's New Island. I've heard mixed things about this, but... I mean, I like the Yoshi games. I really like the one on the 64, which a lot of people seem to dislike. But I like it, so we shall see how this is. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Extreme Butoden? I believe that's how you say it. Butoden. That would be it, I guess. A uh, cool little thing. It's like, it's a Dragon Ball Z fighting game. You guys know the deal. And the one I really, really wanted in this set, and what made the rest of this just a really stellar deal, we have Kirby Squeak Squad. I found this in an EB Games once, but they could not find the cartridge for the life of them. I was like, ah, I really wanted it. They had it super duper cheap. It was like five bucks or something after one of their sales, but they just didn't have the, uh, the cartridge for it. But this copy is in there. It's in great condition. Couldn't ask for it in any better condition, to be honest. It's a nice, honest copy. This is a really good game. I believe it was this or Superstar Ultra that I had back in the day, and it was one of the first DS games I finished. Really fun game. Holy crap, we have a lot more to go through. I had this loose disc, or loose cart, so I printed out some artwork for it. It looks okay. I stuck it in a spare case. It's got a Mario Kart manual in there. Beautiful drone. Beautiful Joe Double Trouble. Oh boy. I guess I'll show this one. This one was a good deal. This was like... This was less than $12 shipped, I'm pretty sure, for Shinobi on the 3DS. Definitely give this game a go if you have not played it. If you have a 3DS, there's zero reason not to own this game. It's just really, really good. It's, uh... A 3D platformer, except you're on a 2D plane, so it's 2.5D. It's just like the old Shinobi games, which are just fantastic, so there's no reason not to get this. Complete in there. That's a really good game too that I want. Good shape! And you can get that anywhere for super cheap. So expensive crap! All bought on credit. Pokemon Black version 2. Pokemon Ultra Moon, Pokemon Ultra Sun, 
so many Pokemon games on the DS and 3DS, man. But I'm buying them with credit, so it doesn't really matter. The way I see it, it's like I'm not, I'm not spending my own money if I'm spending, like trading credit. I can just, if I wanted to, I could just sell all these. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, this is a game I pre-ordered back when it came out in 2015. One of the only 3DS games I bought brand new. Great set. There's people online who complain about this, but there are people online who complain about everything. People online complaining. Yes, Majora's Mask 3D. Complete in there, great condition. Give that one a go if you haven't, it's got a very interesting story and gameplay. Uh, Bravely Default. I heard this one was a kind of Final Fantasy clone but made by Square Enix so it's Final Fantasy by the makers of Final Fantasy. Oh no this is Bravely Second not Bravely Default. Okay. Yeah. I think I have the first one as well. Yeah, it's supposed to be a really good game. Mist. I have this on PSP, it's on everything. I'm amazed there's not a PS4 version of this. But yeah, Mist. It was 10 bucks credit, why not? Dragon Quest Monsters Joker 2! I imagine it's just like the first one. Hmm. Yeah, it is like the Pokemon version of Dragon Quest, because this is the one I played back in the day. I put like five hours into it and I was like, this is just like Pokemon. Because you could catch like slimes and stuff and use them in battle. Pokemon White. What's the difference between Pokemon White and White 2? I have no idea. Yokai Watch. This is supposed to be just like Pokemon as well. Uh, Rhythm Thief and the Emperor's Treasure. I bought this for five dollars once in an op shop. I wish I could get that kind of deal again, but it was three credits, so whatever. Supposed to be pretty fun. Mario and Luigi Dream Team Bros. I may have already had that one, I'm not sure. Blue Dragon Plus, very early release for this uh, Nintendo DS here. Well, not super early, 2008. Yeah, supposed to be good. It's, um. Artwork by the Dragon Ball Z guy, Akira something. Super Pokemon Rumble, I was surprised to see this one was pretty cheap. Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, I don't remember the price on this one. I've dabbled a little bit in the Ace Attorney games, I've played one for a few hours, watched some videos on it, I just need to sink my teeth into it. It seems like a really good style of game. Like, mostly visual novel, but then you have, like, courtroom scenes where you can present evidence and stuff. That, that does seem cool. I just need to really sink my teeth into them. This was a great deal in a cash converters. Super Mario 64 DS for $15. It's a really good deal. You can play as a Ouija in this one, so you don't have to jump through imaginary hoops to try and unlock him in the 64 version. It doesn't actually exist. But yeah. This one was weird, it had like holes in it. But Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo 6... Uh, Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, if you look here... For some reason there are holes in it, like someone was stabbing it with a pen. But whatever. If I find a good copy for cheap down the line I shall buy it, but... For now, that's just fine. And Pokemon White version 2. Alright, last stack. I told you we were going through these quickly. This is probably the coolest one of the set and the one I have played the most. Uh, Cave Story 3D. I love the original Cave Story back in the day. This was like... People don't really think about it, but Cave Story was one of those like original indie games. like. This wasn't released on a cartridge or anything back in the day. You just had to find it on the website and download it. I remember it took forever to download this one back in the day. But they released it on the 3DS. It is a complete overhaul, so it's one of the first remasters of a game as well. Like 
2011? How many remasters were they doing back in 2011? Actually, a couple. I think the Tomb Raider trilogy released back then. So yeah. And Tomb Raider Legend was a remake, so I guess it wasn't too uncommon. But yeah, Cave Story 3D. This was $60 shipped through trading credit, but that's a decent deal for this game. Manual is waterlogged as anything, but I don't really care about that. Because the cartridge is in good shape, and that's all that really matters, as long as the game works. Yeah. If you haven't played Cave Story, I'm pretty sure it's still free to just download off the internet. I did want to get the 3D version. Kirby Triple Deluxe, I have no idea what this cost. It's supposed to be a good game. I think this was under 30? Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater 3D? I remember when this one came out, it's just a weird title to get a release. In 2012, so this was after Metal Gear Solid 4. I remember it. Yeah, I remember it coming out. It's supposed to have pretty good visuals for the 3DS, so... I might sit down and play through that one again, see how it is. I, I bloody love Metal Gear Solid 3. The story is stupid, but it's just a fun game. This was a great deal. Chibi Robo Ziplash. I remember when this came out, it just plummeted in price immediately, and you can get this super cheap now because it's a Chibi Robo game, but it's not the kind of Chibi Robo game that the fans would want. Hyrule Warriors Legends. It's supposed to be good. Here we go, Bravely Default. The original one. Some weirdly proportioned fairy chick on the back. That is really weird looking. Ah, oh, those Japanese and their proportions. Yeah, it's supposed to be a really good game. When did this one come out? 2013. Yeah, it's supposed to be just really good Final Fantasy kind of game. Uh, new Art Academy? I think this was like three bucks. It's super cheap and my fiance is interested in art so she can have that one. This was a good deal. Five dollars for Dragon Ball Z Harukanaru Densetsu. I believe that's how you say it. It is a card battle RPG. Professor Layton the Last Spectre. Professor Layton in the Curious Village. Professor Layton and Pandora's Box. So these are the three that I have finished. Pandora's Box is the best one of the lot. Just really good games, check them out if you haven't. I think Pandora's Box is only like a $10 game at Computer Exchange, so definitely give that one a go. If nothing else. Coming up to the last ones here, Pokemon Black. Another Pokemon game. This one was pretty cheap, it was under $20 I think. Monster Hunter Generations. I kind of like Monster Hunter, it's not my favourite game series, but it's pretty good. Uh, Pokemon Diamond. 60 bucks, goddamn. A bank devouring statement there. Yeah, I don't know why ones from this gen are so expensive, but they all are. Final Fantasy 3, I think this was about $30 shipped. I had this one back in the day as well. I never finished it, but I got really, really far in. This is actually a pretty bad version because it has 3D graphics, but they're really, really bad 3D graphics. Like, if you compare it to the, um, PSP versions of Final Fantasy 2 and 4, it's like, night and day, the PSP version looks so much better. And finally, last but definitely not least, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. I finished Ocarina of Time last year, I believe. It is a good game. Not the classic I think a lot of people say it is, though. I just think it's it's a bit obtuse to be considered a classic. But yeah, that is it. That is everything. Thank you guys for watching. This has been another episode of expensive games that I've wasted my money on. Hopefully the camera was rolling this entire time because I don't want to film this again. See you guys later. Have a good one. My goofy ass forgot to show two of the games. The two 3DS games that I got that were doubles from Andrew. Ended up taking them to the market one Sunday. I traded them to a video game guy who 
just did a straight swap for two DS games that I wanted. There you go. Lost in Blue and Point Blank DS. This is a crazy fun, Ooh, a crazy fun game. This is supposed to be really fun too. I definitely look forward to sitting down and trying it out. Alright, that is everything. See you guys later. Have a good one. Bye again. And that's all, folks.